the first reported cases were in China. Brand. And I'm in China. <laughs> so it's not like China. <laughs> I need to put comfortable because it's about to be a very long conversation. <laughs> Maybe. I'm really excited to see as you can tell as always welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new hi my name is lulu and this is my youtube channel <laughs> okay so before we begin shall we pray lord we love you in jesus name amen okay so we're just going to like jump right into it so this video basically is about my corona updates <laughs> this is not a factual thing like i'm not going to be out here spitting facts for you guys who are, yeah no like i'm pretty sure youtube has this thing in the bottom says um if you want to know more about the cov 2019 yeah read that <laughs> don't quote me <laughs> hi guys so disclaimer again this video is a bit long because I am trying to explain three months in 30 minutes. So just bear with me. Enjoy the video. It's going to be fun. I promise. Thank you. I need to be comfortable because it's about to be a very long conversation. <laughs> Coronavirus is a virus that's like gives you fluish symptoms, but then it really is like killing your respiratory nanny nannies. Yeah, that's what it is. Basically, like in my layman's terms like yeah and it's pretty serious if your immune system has an issue yeah so like if you're old yeah it's pretty serious and let's say you just have something that like your immune system isn't so strong and then you get it yeah it's pretty dangerous for you so the first reported cases were in china Bruh. And I'm in China. <laughs> so I got a lot of love, by the way. Thank you guys for being really concerned and showing me love. I'm very much okay. I'm so fine. I'm more than fine, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So the first reported cases were in Wuhan, China. I am not in Wuhan, China. I am in Hangzhou, Zhejiang province. Zhejiang. 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 Whatever. So I am pretty far not really pretty far it's in the next province but like yeah there's still some distance between um hangzhou and wuhan so yeah i'm okay we had some reported cases in hangzhou but we since for i think now it should be going on 20 days with no new reported cases um yes in my in hangzhou wait let me let me check let me not lie to you Man, I should have prepared this beforehand. Just a minute. I didn't even plan to say this. A few moments later. Let's just go. Because like on Alipay, we have this checker thing that tells you about the numbers. Like how many people have been infected today. How many were infected yesterday. And yeah, just giving you updates. So like, yeah, informed and stuff. Just a minute. I hope my nose is not running. Oh my God. Yeah, it kind of is. Oh. So, today, there are 81,133 reported cases in the entire China, 128, um, 128 suspected cases, 3,231 3, deaths so far, and 6 68,803 um, cured cases and then in Hangzhou which is where I am we have 183 confirmed cases no deaths but 181 cured so we only have two people remaining to like get cured in the entire Hangzhou so yeah go Hangzhou I don't know if these numbers are accurate by the way I'm just saying but that's what they've given us so yeah so for me life has been a bit like because it's basically like you're supposed to stay in your room for like two months 
so i actually don't see the difference between that and like summer holiday or winter holiday because you're in your room all the time oh wait you can go to church <laughs> And you can have activities, you can go out. That's like the only difference, but like day in, day out, indoors. So online church, um, online shopping. Oh, at some point there was no online shopping because the shipping companies were closed and stuff. So it sucked. I cannot lie. It sucked. Like you can't, you're just literally in your room. And then at some point, um, okay, let me like give you a progression. The coronavirus started in the... Um, during the spring festival which was the end of january beginning of february or beginning of february ish right so i'm um, during that time there's a lot of people traveling to go back home to like chill like with family and whatever because it's like it's basically like um new year and christmas combined like for them their version of it so they have family coming over and whatever so during this time this is when the coronavirus like okay it started like before but it was hush hush right and then it really like boom peaked during the spring festival so during that time like it's holidays we're at home we're chilling and whatever so we hear okay we coronavirus now so like oh, what does this mean so yeah stay indoors and you know the school was like no don't worry just like chill you know what i'm saying just take care of yourselves and don't go outside and if you can get masks and whatever and no they didn't say that did they man i can't remember i've been indoors for like two months <laughs> so, but yes so when it started i hope my lips are not looking dry when it started um it was just like it's not so serious you know what i mean so like yeah yeah then it got serious right and people are panicking now like you don't know who has it the numbers just are just increasing they're not going down you go to the store to um get like hand sanitizer masks gloves those things are done Deto is done like <laughs> and it's like what you know what i mean and there are only like seven people in the entire walmart <laughs> so it was a bit like oh my god what is actually happening a bit panicky and stuff and then after that they said um they they're doing closed off management like home quarantine type of thing so you're not allowed to go outside you're just supposed to stay indoors and good thing was this was a holiday right but during the spring festival people from there's a lot of travel um, so you have families coming over from everywhere so there was a lot of travel and what and what so and then the coronavirus hit so some of us who had nowhere to go were just at home saying eh, yeah and then so there was a lot of people like a lot of um notices saying just stay where you are don't travel it's better to be alone and healthy than to be sick and you know you could spread it with your family and your friends so just stay indoors so yeah and during this day indoors phase um we were told like by the school and yeah the government was telling like all schools and all students like just stay indoors don't move we're going to arrange everything so at this point we didn't know like okay what about money we need money we need food we need masks what's going on so the school gave us some masks like in the very beginning we got some masks from the school then um the what happened after that <laughs> so the school gave us masks right and then after some time we're told no you can't go out like the school will bring for you groceries because we're like we need food and stuff so the school started bringing groceries only for those on campus so if you're living off campus <laughs> but yeah if you're living off campus you have to talk to me like with your community because you don't just live like off campus um like how do i explain it there are little communities like where you live so there's like shima community bolimango community i can't remember the other community but like it's like a gated community sort of thing so like you have to they said you talk to the community people there and if you need like some translation or something that's where the school can help you so in school they were they'll deliver supplies like you pay then um they deliver supplies like to your room and stuff and then for those outside they could still go um outside but it was restricted in that only two people like only one person can go outside and one person every two days right that's how it was in certain um communities and you can't go out for longer than a certain period of time like yeah, so at this point, a lot of people were leaving, like, you were allowed to 
go like go back to your home country because they're just a country wow <laughs> basically in the beginning it was like okay then the numbers started going up right and then they are going up and people are starting to panic now right like man people are like the numbers really were like increasing at one point it went from like like today it's a certain number tomorrow it's 15 times fifteen thousand, like 15 like a difference of fifteen thousand between like in 24 hours so i'm like mm, man and the numbers are just increasing right so people are starting like leaving going back to their home country like man it's safer outside safer back at home than it is here so oh yeah so a lot of people left and this like i think it was easier to manage like the students and stuff because we're a small number we are a small number now so um yeah then yeah things escalated again so at this point i'm like oh maybe i should go home and in my mind i'm like if i go home what am i going to do i get a job okay that's not too bad but then if i stay here like you're supposed to get your papers right when you don't know the next time you're going to get an opportunity like this da, 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 da. so i'm like okay let me just stay but then the numbers kept increasing right so i'm like oh, maybe i should go home so i told my parents and i'm like okay maybe i should come back home and they're like yeah you know yeah so they started looking around so i i said i th i thought about it again and i'm like you know really I really don't think like it's necessary for me to go back home like me myself i don't think it's necessary for me to go back home so i told them like okay just keep the monies just in case anything happens like let me not stress you guys to start looking around for monies and whatever so just keep the money or whatever and i'll stay here and if it really 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 gets really bad i'll come back home but for now let me stay because i was like obviously we're going to start doing online classes so if i'm going to start doing online classes back in zambia you're going to manage to like buy bundles for me every single day or put wi-fi for me every single and it's a bit kind of a bit costly in zambia like for wi-fi so i'm like mm, let's just be wise here so it's better if i stay here yeah we we'll manage like we we'll manage we have netflix we have internet we have food and then for money um we use this service there's a service where like they your parents or your guardians or whoever transfers money into someone's bank account and then from here they send you the money like in yuan so you get the equivalent amount of what your parents sent to that person kind of like um um how do i explain it i think i've explained it pretty well but for in case you're still confused let's say i need money from my parents back at home right and they say okay I'll ask um, your friends to give you maybe 1,000 and I'll deposit the equivalent amount into their parents or into their bank account in Zambia. So it's basically like just shifting money. Like, a, yeah, I hope that's clear enough. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's how we, some of us receive money. That's how I receive money. And yeah, so it peaked again and then fluctuated we are now in like the dwindling down because um in wuhan i read my mom sent me this article where like they opened 14 temporary hospitals for the coronavirus patients and now there are only like 11 11 have been closed down so there are only three remaining so that's good um life is going on like you're allowed to go out of course with the mask in the bus you can't sit like next to each other like this it's like one person then empty seat like no one's allowed to sit there then the next person type of thing and yeah you can so it means you can go to the atm and at school i think you're allowed to leave for like an hour only one hour then you come back you have to be back within the hour and yeah so now china is fine right but the rest of the world is going up in flames <laughs> Because before it was like, mm, China, you know, and like, oh, one of my friends was saying, like, you know, there was flexing. The countries were flexing, like America, the U.S. government has sent a plane for their people. Okay, the U.K., okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> people were flexing. Countries were like, you know what, we are showing you who we are. Like, excuse me. So they left. As we remained. We remained we're like, ah, no, it's okay. Our government even sent us to more masks. So, so, yeah, like, okay, for real, we got masks from, ish, my leg is, yeah, I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, we got a mask from Zambian government, like 10 per person, like you register and get 10 per person. At some point, Afropay, Afri Shop, sorry, Afri Shop was giving masks. I haven't yet received my masks till today. So, yeah, but some people have received. Yeah, some people have received. I, I just haven't received and um yes 
So now, the rest of the world is having the coronavirus thing and us were just here chilling. And so the school has told the people who've gone back home, don't come back, just stay. <laughs> like, I don't know how many notices like we receive. Like, if you're at, at home, you're prohibited from coming back. You receive, what, something, something, strict punishment if you come back, da, 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 da. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what's, that's what's happening i don't know for me it wasn't okay in the beginning it was really bad because like you know that thing for where like um ending of december i really wanted to go out right but i had already gone out so i was like okay just chill okay it wasn't even me to be honest mr baby was like just chill you know you already went out just to you go again like next weekend or something but then next weekend boom corona and I'm like, okay, now I can't go out. So it was a bit frustrating because I wanted to go out. Like I really wanted to go out, but I couldn't, you know. And then before when I could, like I had to wait, like just to give myself time so I don't spend a lot of money during that period. You know what I mean? And then now I can't go out. So it was really frustrating in the beginning. But then we discovered, oh my God, we can order in. <laughs> so yeah, we have this um, order in app. So yeah, that's that's what was happening. Like that's where most of the money went, if you ask me. But yes, yeah, so ordering in and yeah, that's basically how I've been during this Corona thing. And I've been reading novels. I've been consuming novels like I don't know you guys. <laughs> and I've been like my supervisor asked me to um, learn this certain software. It's called Abacus. So I've been trying to learn that like simulate some certain connection but it's been interesting <laughs> and yeah what else have i been doing yeah basically that's it oh makeup yeah by the way um i told you in my previous video that i'm waiting for this certain makeup to come right so it came and it's darker than my skin tone like i was so touched you guys it was it's that my face looked like orange like i put clay on my face i was so touched so i went and bought another one <laughs> which is in my skin tone so yeah i don't think um the thing the shop that i didn't i don't think it's original where i bought it from that shop because it doesn't give like coverage coverage it kind of gives coverage but it doesn't give like full coverage so i'm um, like uh, yeah also the price it's like the original maybelline store things are going for like yeah a, a hundred and something 200 300 like in that price range right un and um that converts to like the 300 converts to like about 600 kwacha and I'm at the level where i can buy 600 kwacha like foundation like i'm not there yet you know what i mean so um yeah i bought this one this one instead so for this one i thought the reason why i thought it was original was because like the store um buys it from like an original maybelline store right and then they resell it so now looking at that and i'm thinking okay the coverage isn't full as it's not as coveragey as it's supposed to be but it says they get from a maybelline store so i'm like maybe the, they mix it with something i don't know honestly i don't know because it didn't come with the receipts on uh, it didn't come like with with they come with the box then come with the box so i'm like china <laughs> but anyway it kind of it works like it works i like until i get money like that or i save up to buy something like that then yeah, we'll use it because it, it actually does work. And I had a mini photo shoot, you guys. I think the pictures are actually pretty dope. I inserted some of them in here. That's if I don't put them like on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. Because I think I like I did it on my own, you guys. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's that's what I have been doing. And yeah, so but like um I'm trying to convince Mr. Baby Man to go out with me soon. Because I haven't gone outside like in like a long time you guys like in a long time so i want to go out like even like okay because the restaurants are like for example um mcdonald's because okay the thing is i'm just hearing because i haven't been outside to see for myself you know what i mean so i hear like they're just like you can order and then it's takeaway and not allowed to like in, eat inside the the place and whatever so there's a lot of takeaway that's happening so yeah so the positives of like coronavirus is that we have online class now <laughs> and that is great because like man i mean my pajamas 
<laughs> I'm in my pajamas and I learn in my pajamas, which is really cool. It's re like I literally wake up like 20 minutes to class. Yeah. I wake up 20 minutes to class. I run, take a shower, run, dress up, put on lotion, put on everything, run to go get headsets, come back, plug in everything, log in like with 30 seconds for <laughs> class to start. And I'm right on time. You know what I mean? And I can like lay down, I can mute, I can go get some water and come back. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's so convenient. But yeah, the bad side of that is like, the internet is really sometimes the internet is really glitchy so you don't know what the person is saying what they've said like at which point the thing is you know what i'm saying but the app that we use is ding talk so with ding talk it gives you um mm, 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 video playback of the lesson so that's cool so my mindset during this whole thing was like nothing can happen to you literally like first of all we are getting facts like around me there's no one who's got it so how am i going to get it it's not possible secondly if i do get it i'm strong i'm working out i'm eating food i pray I, first of all i can't even get it you know what i mean like it's not possible like if it it will die if it comes into my body because my body is a temple of the holy spirit hallelujah and i'm not saying like yeah no just take it lightly move around anyhow no you still have to be cautious and use wisdom but like don't move with a fear mindset so I sat down and I read about it, you know, because the best way to quench fear is knowledge and prayer, obviously, but knowledge, prayer with knowledge. But yeah, knowledge, you have to know, right? So like if you're scared about something, read up on the weaknesses, the strengths of the thing itself and on of yourself as well. So like, you know how to combat it, right? So I sat down and I read up about it and I read the facts and I'm like, it's actually not, it's just that it's contagious and there's no vaccine for it but it's not that bad so i was thinking like if there's no cure there's no vaccine how are people getting healed and cured and stuff so i read that like they get plasma from the people who've been cured right and then they um use that plasma to give like another patient yeah that's what i read as i said don't quote me but that's what i read so it actually makes sense because if you think about it the flu also doesn't have like a cure if you didn't know that you're welcome <laughs> so it's kind of like the same thing the same way like your body kind of like does it on its own you know what i mean that's also like with the coronavirus but it needs some car you know like some boosting so to say so yeah that's that's how people are getting cured so your thing is your immune system or your white cells i don't know what's happening i'm not a doctor but they're boosted then they fight the coronavirus and then yeah and the news is going to freak you out like you guys who are outside um the news that you were getting compared to like what was actually happening was of course like you know how people get facts and then just expand it like the fact is there but they make it so big like bigger than what it actually is yeah that's what was happening yeah there were some people who at some point they didn't have food that really was true because we're not allowed to go out and the school is still trying to organize like what's going to happen and yeah but that was because it was something that was sudden unexpected and yeah and it was rectified because even in wuhan the students who um at some point didn't have money and food and what the zambian government gave them some money and yeah um yeah I, I think that's about it that's the corona update there's really not much going on for me right now life is going on as usual i'm allowed to go out and yeah 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 things are fine oh and i have masks so that's great and um yeah this is like basically the end of the video thank you for watching thank you so much for watching and um yes until the next video bye bye don't forget to subscribe oh my god i forgot <laughs> don't forget to subscribe please subscribe and share and if you like it give your girl a like yeah yeah okay now i can say bye thank you bye ah and i've been watching love is blind you guys can i just say jessica is an idiot I've been saying this for such a long time. Oh my god. Like, yeah, you guys like try and watch Love is Blind if you've got Netflix. Watch Love is Blind and yeah, we can we can have a discussion about it. I can do a YouTube video especially dedicated to Love is Blind. Man. Like the way they just leave you standing at the all time way.
like the the part that touched me was like Gianna and Damien I think I hope I pronounced their names right I yeah spoiler alert I forgot to say that <laughs> Let me just stop talking in case you, you haven't watched it. But like, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Trying to like improve myself, though not always. If the self-improvement time is like this, to be honest, I'm just like watching TV or watching TV or watching more TV. <laughs> but yes, just a minute. Muela, you're in my video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah.